Okay, I have started recording, so I am starting. Okay. Yes. Today, somebody is coming. Ravi Kiran. Okay. So, we are starting the presentation. Today, we are going to do review stock Subex. The name of the stock is Subex. This was the 8th hot stock that I presented on 11th July. Okay. Now, this was the hot stock level when I presented. Somebody is coming. Okay. So, when, when I presented it, I presented it on 11th, okay, somewhere here, very close to the hot stock, okay, the hot spot level. The hot spot level was, I think, okay, whatever it is, 17, 18, whatever, 17.9 or 18, okay. That was the level and today we are at 30.7. But uh, from the recommended level, the stock moved good distance. From 19, it went up to something like 47, 48. Means 146 percent we had this up move. I remember Subax immediately because this one big candle, see, this green candle was a very big candle which came in just one week. Okay, so it gave a return of something like 146 percent. But of course, now it has corrected a lot, okay, just to give an idea. Now, let's start the review. As usual, we have a look at the naked chart to understand how the stock performed, what kind of a stock it is, okay. Somebody is coming. Okay, okay the stock whatever something wrong not coming the chart is not coming full what's up yeah some problem with the net or what okay so this is the weekly chart huh? Yeah, some problem looks like. Okay. So, uh, okay. This is the weekly chart. As usual, we start our analysis with weekly chart. Okay. The stock made a real high of something like 800 plus, 850 or something in 2005. Okay. From then on, it has been falling, 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 falling like a waterfall. Only falling. Okay. It reached a low of COVID. During COVID, that was the lowest, I think, close to 4 rupees, 3.8 or whatever, okay? That was the lowest point, okay? Now, the question will come to your mind. This is not at all a trending stock, you know? Normally, we look at only somebody is coming. Okay? So, normally, we only, I only recommend trending stocks, but Yesterday and today, these are yesterday's stock was also not a trending one, and today is not also not a trending one. In fact, if at all, it is a down trending stock. And we see it reached a low of here sometime in 2009, okay, around 20 21 rupees. From then, it has been kind of you know in a range, it has not moved much for the past. How many years? From 2009, we are now in 2022. 13 years, the stock hasn't done anything. Okay? Then why I am recommending it? Let us try to find out. Now, I will concentrate on this area. Okay? Forget about the, this big fall area we are not touching. I am going to zoom in on this area. This is our area. Somebody is coming. Okay. okay, we are going to focus on this area. Now let me zoom in to this area. 
now what when i recommended this stock okay this was the hot spot level such a falling stock okay then you need some really guts to recommend such a stock like yesterday i was saying now you see this area i will try to make a box okay from here to here okay let me make a box i will color it maybe green now this is the green box we are looking at okay now if you see from here 2012 to 2020 november eight long years okay this the stock was contained in this zone this box okay for eight long years okay only in november 2020 after the covid the covid was a low it made something like two i think 3 rupees or whatever 3 rupees or 4 rupees it touched that low in fact it went a little lower than the previous low also okay and then it gave a breakout at this point the real big breakout so the stock moved let's understand i was saying in the group also that the stock gave a 18x return in fact when i see that it is more than that also let's measure this see it is more than it says 28 2822% okay maybe i am from here to here See, 2,500 percent, 25 times, 25x return. The stock has given, okay, in a matter of little over one year, from March, May 2020 to 21, July 21. So, little over one year, the stock gave more than 20x. Okay, let it be 22, 23, whatever. That is the power of stock market. In one year, if you put your money in FD, you will get 6 percent. here you get 2800% that is the power of small cap stock if you know how to pick the right stock it can give you multifold returns okay now i want to say one thing when a stock is consolidating for such a long time and when it give breaks out it gives a real breakout you have to spot such things okay when it came out of this consolidation we should have bought it here even i didn't do it okay but we, we cannot be monitoring there are so many stocks it is very difficult to monitor so after so many years of consolidation it is like a spring okay you are you are putting a ball on a spring for a spring loaded and when the when the sp spring comes out okay expands this is the power like a, you know it propels the ball to such a great height that's what happened here and generally the first elliot wave comes out of consolidation this is the consolidation long consolidation so this is the first elliot wave i'm seeing okay you can even see 1 2 3 4 5 i will show you the wave structure 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 Elliot impulse wave I am seeing. Okay, and this is the A B C correction I am seeing. One, two, A B C. Okay. Now we can measure this from here. You use Fibonacci tool. you can see that this is 127.2 let me bring up that 127 where is it 127.2 maybe a little bit adjustment i have to do maybe i am going a little far away okay this is the correct level perhaps so it's coming maybe i can make it a little thicker 
for you guys to see it. So this is the end of correction A, B, C. So this is a perfect, this is the first wave. This is the second wave of correction. This is the start of the third big impulse. Okay. That's why we had this impulse. This I am seeing it as the first minor wave of the third bigger wave. I hope you understand. People who have some knowledge of, maybe the newcomers may not understand, but they will start understanding slowly, slowly. Okay. Now, we have completed two waves and we are in the initial stage of the third wave. Okay. I have actually, I am 95% confident of what I am talking. Okay. So, we are going to see explosive move in this talk. That's my view. Okay. Let me now remove this. Okay. Maybe these waves also now not required. This also not. So I have shown you this one confluence already. Two confluences I have shown at the hot spot level. One is the SNR. Okay. This is a hot SE. This was a support here. It fell down here. This was a resistance here. Resistance here. And then it broke out and came back. So it is a strong SNR zone. That was the first element of confluence that I must have shown in my original video. And the second one is the Fibonacci extension I showed you, 127.2. Okay. Two confluences we have seen here at this point already. Now we will try the Fibonacci retracement. This is 78.6. See, exactly. So let me make it thicker. See, 78.6. See, at this point. So, this is the third confluence. We had 127.2 extension, 78.6. 78.6 is the, you know, 61.8 or 78.6 is the normal. Uh, decline for a second wave so which also perfect see when when the stock broke out of this zone see how beautifully it came back here and found support okay and we have Fibonacci confluences also and I am going to show you one more confluence this AVWAP okay where is the data here when I put it here the lowest point see where it goes this white line okay this is the fourth confluence and one more confluence is the pivot point where is the pivot okay you see this pivot point i don't know whether you are able to see it okay s2 pivot this is s1 pivot this is s2 pivot i hope you are able to see that because it's a brown line just it is in line exactly with this level that's why maybe you, you are not able to see you can see that s2 so this was the another confluence so so many how many we have seen four or five whatever it is okay so many confluences i had that's why i gave the buy call and it gave a good move also okay now i am saying that it is this this is first minor wave okay this is the second minor wave which is almost over. I have reason to believe because you know this is 61.8 percent. See that. See it went down to 78.6 and maybe I will put the 38.2 it may match also. Ah, see 38.2. So from 78.6 it went up to 38.2 as the first wave and the second wave correction I believe has ended here. Now it is time for us to buy this stock. Okay, to ride this third wave. We are just in time to ride this third wave. Okay. Let me do we need this? We, do, we can remove this. Okay. I can remove this. Let it be done. Okay. Now assuming that this is the second wave. Now what do we do? We draw a channel. From here, I am assuming that the second wave is over. So when, you, when that happens, I do it like this. This is the channel. 
Now my target for this stock is this level, seventy. What seventy? My target for this stock is this one. Okay. Sorry, I should not put the channel here. Sorry. Now this is the first wave. This is the second wave. So my channel, I have to put it here. From the end of the first wave. But this is the second wave. I am putting the channel like this. Maybe the channel should be here. That I think this is an excess. This is the correct level because you see, the median is lining up here. That's why I am putting the top point here. Now, I will do the Fibonacci extension from here to here to here. Somebody is coming so late. Rahul Gulati. Okay. Okay. Now, I am assuming that this stock, this third wave will go up to 120. It may go beyond also. I am now restricting the target to 98.55 which if, you, if I put the cursor you can see here. It exactly lines up with this height. Okay? And that is what my target. 98.5 which is 127.2 which when it will come the time also let us try to measure. I will use a Fibonacci time tool from here to here and then pick it up from here. See, this is the time I am saying. It could come in September 23 or August 23. Little less than one year from now, this target could come. 98.55 This is my analysis but in case we have to see the negative side also. In case the stock goes below this, we are totally wrong. We should go out. That is the stop loss level. The swing low. The previous swing low. Okay, This level. Which is around 21. No, Maybe you can give some cushion if you want. So something like 5% if, if at all. You want to keep, you can keep. If it goes below that, then our total you know this analysis is wrong. When we know we are wrong, we should book loss and exit. But I am pretty sure I am not wrong. Okay. I am going to buy. Now I am seeing this as an excellent level. See it is at S1. It is at, uh, we, saw, we saw before, 61.8 S1. And let us try to measure this retracement. From here to this way. How much is that? See, it is 61.8. Can you see that? So perfect. See, this is the 61.8. So it is close to, maybe it can come to 61, or maybe if I adjust a little bit, it will come to 61.8 perfectly. See? see, it is perfectly 61.8. So I have reason to believe that this second wave is over at 61.8, at pivot point S1 and also, so these two confluences we have. So I have a reason to believe that this correction is now over, it is going to start the bullish move. My target is 98.5. That's my analysis. So, which is 98.55, according to me, could come in less than a year. From current level, 30 to 98, how much? Three times. Little more than three times. So, we can expect 3x return. Of course, the stock gave 20x return in one year, but we are not going to expect that. We are expecting a 3x return in one year, which is possible. Maybe it will go much beyond also. But for our purpose, we are restricting our, because this is the previous high. Definitely, at this point, when it reaches, you will have selling. Okay? People will be waiting. 
and exactly you see 127 is lining up here exactly this and when i why i put 127 it is called a, a b alternative a b is equal to c d pattern also remember i we discussed even yesterday also i am seeing that pattern alternate a b is equal to c d pattern or if somebody wants to be safe you can exit here also this is also a resistance you see 100% somebody wants to be very safe you can keep 81.45 as your target these are the two possibilities that's my analysis i have nothing more to discuss anyone has any doubts or any questions as even as a further short term target if you want the central pivot 50 okay that, that is again a key resistance so stock could go there maybe it is also meeting with this median also see so 50 50 could be the first target if at all 50 is your first target 81 second target 98 third target i am giving you three targets for you to play That is all. Anything else? Hello? Yes, Siddharth Dave, yes. Stop loss, I told you, no, if it goes below this hotspot level. The previous spot law spot 18.5 so if it goes below 18.5 don't even have any cushion i'm saying if it closes below 18.5 get out get my point 18.5 is your negation level our whole analysis hinges on this that it we should it will not go i am i am pretty confident because i am not playing with any stop loss no, always okay so, but I am saying, just in case somebody wants a stop loss, this is your stop loss, 18 or 18.5. If it, for any reason, if it closes below, then uh, stock is doing something else. Then we are wrong. We have to accept. When market says you are wrong, we have to politely accept and get out. That is a stop loss. So, when you see the stop loss, the, the target is risk reward ratio is pretty even if you assume 50 as your target huh, the risk reward is pretty. okay anything else no no let me if this if there is no question i will close this uh, when close the recording so we can as usual continue for other discussions so i will i will close this recording okay yeah you have doubt till the what what exactly you mean third median means third median means around 25 ah. okay anything can happen it can go back to this uh, channel also 22 23 level if it slips s1 for example it might go back to this channel if the market overall market is weak or something it can slip and go here back to this you know this yellow line it could come back or it could come back to make a double bottom here all these are possibilities i mean no one can say for anything for sure that possibility you should always keep in mind okay so you if you want to buy buy some now always i say that don't buy your full quantity if you want to buy for 1 lakh buy for 50000 now keep 50000 for buying when it comes here for example if at all 
If it comes here, buy some. Like that only you have to average. Do not buy the entire quantity at this level. But I am pretty confident it, this will go from here. Because of the confluence that we are seeing, 61.8, S1, everything is, you know, matching. Yes, tell me. What? Ah. And you see, you look left. See, previous time also it, the support came here. You see the green candle. So, everything points out that they should... Maybe what you can do, wait for this weekend closing. Okay? This week is now red as it, We have got only one day gone by. Still we have... Today, tomorrow is what? Wednesday? Yeah, so that means we still have three three days of session. We can wait. Don't buy now. Wait for three days. What happens? This week closing. If it prints a green candle, then probably that is a kind of confirmation. We can go ahead and buy. But overall, I am bullish on this stock. It's a multi-bagger stock, according to me, because this is all clear. This is first wave. This is second wave. And we are in the early stage of the third wave. That is what my analysis. Yes, so if there is anything else, I will stop. I stop sharing, did I? Yeah. Ah. If it makes a double bottom, uh, yes, but sec, sec, yeah, you are right. Second, then it becomes a double a doubtful case. Then we have to start thinking of the, that as a first wave. You understand? If it makes a double bottom, uh, then maybe we have to start thinking of that as a, as a first wave. From there. From there, that becomes a new wave. Because this, this, I am thinking of this. That, that means this, if, if, but I think I am not 100% sure it can perhaps, only thing is it should not close below. Even double bottom also, uh, maybe, okay, I am not 100% sure. But uh, I believe such a situation will not come. If at all it comes, it will go back to touch this yellow line, which in case will be a little above the low point only. So, which case it can be considered as a second wave. So, I, I believe so. Let us see what happens. What happens will happen. Okay. Okay. Let me close this recording. Then, uh, why recording?